Hey everyone, rather than go here, here, back with more Rome Total War Germania. So, last time, we lost cities. We've lost a lot of cities, actually. We've lost three, one to Dacia and two to Gaul. However, we're also conquering Rome with these Doom Stacks, and the main reason they're taking anything is because we're taking cities on their western front as well. And, like, yeah, Dacia can take cities. Fuck them. I don't have any troops over here. I have nothing worthwhile. That said, we will get our bloody vengeance, just not quite yet. So, right now, in Lovashik, next turn I'm going to finish the muster field. I'm going to train a unit of spearmen and retrain these two spearmen. Turn after that, I'm going to step out, and I'm going to hire all of these mercenaries and just fucking murder Dacia. That's probably enough to wipe them off the map. They're not a very strong faction at the start. Now, on the west side, I have this unit coming down. We're pretty much out of movement, so I can afford to recruit one more unit of uh, army. I'm going to take a unit of cavalry. And this little stack I'm making in Elysia will be enough to retake Lugendum. Or Lugdenum? Whichever it is. Lugdenum. Here, we massively outnumber the Gauls. We have Siege Weaponry. They have three units of Spear Warbands. The urge to press Auto Resolve is fucking overwhelming. Oh, his name is Rick Burgess the Conqueror now. He's done so much work. Honestly, I'm on to resolving this. I can't be asked. They managed to kill 400 men. That's pretty terrible. But I'll take it. I just do not want to do it myself. So let's consolidate down these uh, barbarian mercenaries. So if we dig behind literally half a unit of barbarian mercenaries, they are fine with it. So I'm going to go one further and leave them. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can take the mercenaries with me and just build peasants. So what's my army actually looking like? Pretty terrible, right? Eh, they'll live. This army is now going to head south and eventually start conquering Spain. Which it will be joining this army to conquer Spain. This is a siege I can fight right now. And inside the city they have a family member and three warbands. This one is not an overwhelming urge to hit auto-resolve. This is one where I have to actually play it correctly. So, let's get into it. The gods know that we did not look for this war. Um, the gods know our hearts. No. And the gods know the enemy are doomed. I mean, those last parts might be true, but no. No, we looked for this war. We attacked the Gauls wholly unprovoked. They did nothing to deserve this. They were just between us and Rome. We needed their land to conquer Rome. That's it. This is some revisionist history that's happening in the German military, isn't it? I'm actually going to get on the wall and hit here instead of the gate. Uh, the gate's actually a smaller opening than a hole in the wall. And more importantly, it's closer to my other entry point, so it's going to be harder to sneak units in. So I don't think I can actually get in in time to stop them. I'm going to have to open another hole in the wall. But I might be able to. No, there's no fucking way. Alright, third hole. I didn't want to do it, but it's what's happening. Going to actually make four openings, I guess. Please pick up the ram, sir. They're struggling so hard with this. Guys. Guys, come on. Stop spinning and pick up the fucking ram. Please. The ram, sir. Thank you. Jesus Christ. It's like herding cats. So now we can have this unit on the far right, which is unfortunately very tiny. Just form a phalanx here. And that should get some movement and start allowing me to get other units inside the gate. This guy running forward seems fucking suicidal, so I'm not going to be doing that. Yeah, we're finally having a reaction. It looks like we can get multiple units inside the gates now. Form a phalanx. Because even though this is literally a fourth of a unit of spear warband, well, if it's in phalanx, it's worth a lot more than that. But if it just fucks around and dies, then it's worth nothing. So I guess, like, it'll just all die, fuck them. That wasn't my plan going into this, but hey, if they don't want to form a phalanx, then I guess they can just die, right? Like, no, it's a bit late, guys. It's almost a phalanx. I mean, you're all fucked now because you're idiots, but it's fine. Someone else is coming to save you from your own idiocy. The funny thing is, it looks like they're actually slowly recovering this. Anyway, I'll put it in triple speed while this other phalanx spins in a fucking circle. Turns out we're all standing backwards if we're going to be in a phalanx formation. Cool, now go kill them. What are you- Jesus fuck! Why do I have to deal with this shit?
Did you stop routing in front of the fucking tower, you idiots? Uh, if only you'd kept routing. I have never been tilted harder by the start of a relatively easy battle. Luckily, that was my least valuable unit anyway. It started off severely injured. Alright, so the idea of what I'm doing here is pretty straightforward, right? I'm using my phalanx to bait the general forward, and once he actually bites it, I'm going to charge him with everything else. So here comes the general to charge my phalanx. This is a fight that I'm sure he will win and piss me off to no end doing so. So I want both of these spear warbands to break phalanx and actually attack him since they're not next to him. These are out of the way. They're not going to be relevant. But I will move them down here to provide moral supports. Uh, our pathfinding said, fuck it. We're just going to go fight the spearmen. Cool. Excellent. I guess I won't do any of this. Oh my god, Pathfinding is literally the worst shit in the world. This is cancer. Oh. I don't know why the city has been so nightmarishly bad for me. Please, like, just line up over here so you can actually engage with the battle. And something worth noting is, uh, this isn't complete bullshit. Uh, this is, like, the highest quality cavalry in the game versus the lowest quality spearmen. So even though this is madness, it's not quite that stupid. Alright. Was that the whole unit? Are they all dead? Because that means we can all get in phalanx, line up, and go win the fucking fight. Okay. It's taken a while for nagling with pathfinding, but we've got into where we need to be. I mean, the guy in charge of the music thinks the fight's happening. There we go. Anyway, I guess we're just gonna kill one warband for now, and we'll deal with the other one later. Jesus Christ, look at this pile of dead gods. Oh, what in the hell? Alright, that phalanx is officially as far forward as it goes. Um, what are they doing? They routed past my units away from the square and all died. Alright, cool. That seems perfectly reasonable to me. See, they've realized that if they do nothing, my pathfinding is too shit to step into the square. But unfortunately for them, I have more than just one unit of spearmen left. So I'll just send this one over here. Oh god, they're touching the square. I didn't realize what was actually going to happen. I overestimated my pathfinding. I don't know why I thought that would work. But we can eventually just like poke them once and then they'll come out and fight us. They know their greatest strength is their pathfinding, so they're trying to trick me into actually moving my units into the square. Fuck them and fuck that, they're all going to die horribly. Ugh, we lost 256 units, literally all of them, either to the enemy general or pathfinding. Their infantry did not do a single thing unless my phalanxes were actively throwing their lives away. Now, the population size of the city determines whether or not I actually want to enslave it, because I might want this as a launching point against Spain. And yeah, I'm going to occupy this since it's already so depleted. Can't be going to retrain my own units here. I will be destroying their heathen shrine to Isis, and instead make my own to, um... I guess shrine to Woden so I can retrain units for experience. Well, I don't need that, apparently. I will make the shrine that makes screeching women. Just so that the city can grow faster. Now, I think I can literally not retrain anything here. Yeah, I'm going to leave behind these two incredibly depleted units. And also these two incredibly depleted units of cavalry. Or this one incredibly depleted unit of cavalry, rather. Take this tiny little stack and start heading east. Someday, this town might be able to actually retrain these units. But until then, I have, I have no idea. Now looking at the map, there must be another settlement in this area. Eventually, I want these units retrained, but for now, I can't really justify bringing them anywhere. So I have this stack moving its West Gaul, this stack moving its, uh, what I will now be referring to as East Gaul. 
And Doomstack's moving through Italy. So, I think I can do this. I think I can beat Rome here and now. I have so much cavalry. Let's do it. What? Um, withdrawal? What? Why was that an ambush? I'm so confused. Uh, I was going to try to conquer Rome now, but apparently he got to attack me? For some reason? When I edit this, I'll be, like, checking the footage very carefully to see, like... Did I click him? No, because if I attacked him, I wouldn't be withdrawing like this. I would just be standing next to him. He had an ambush on me for some reason with a unit that was in vision nowhere near trees. I've got no idea. I have no fucking idea why that happened. Anyway, uh, now that that's happened, I guess I'll be sending this army east. And we'll be walking past Rome like I originally planned. Which means I have to deal with Rome's rebels for them. Let's actually see what they're doing and pull up a lot earlier than I originally planned to. Is this a general? No, it's Aquitaine. good. Okay, they have two units of peasants, one unit of Velites, one unit of Town Watch. This is the trashiest army I have fought so far in the game. That's probably not true, but it certainly feels like it, doesn't it? I'm just going to move back a little bit. I don't want the Velites to get in range of throwing anything. No, I don't need to move back at all. I have all of this in our phalanx formation shortly. And begin the march forward. Illyrians, Going to have these immediately move to here, where they'll actually be in range to throw things. General. Can I have my general start the charge? And everyone else come afterwards? He's the one that needs to be there immediately. He's the heavy cavalry. And I'm going to have him blow his horn to make absolutely sure he's nowhere near it. This is him blowing his horn, fucking around. And like, yeah, they don't stand a chance in hell here. Cut fire at will. Pull all of this back. That's their town watch, their peasants routed instantly. I start routing, rounding up all of my cavalry over here, so that if they don't turn to deal with me, they're just dead. Uh, looks like their equites are charging. I see this going poorly for them. So, uh, that's the fight. The enemy warlord shows his worth. Nothing. Now, Any of our one of you needs to conquer him, or run. kill him, rather. If two of you are that, the rest can go for this, and that's the battle. His flee. This is no Everyone gets run down, the peasants are utterly annihilated. A Not exactly a close fight, Rome should have dealt with this ages ago. No we lost 20 fight. men to kill 900 rebels. Okay. We continue on our eastward march. Have you found any mercenaries down here? We have. But we don't need them yet. We can buy them next turn. On the flip side, though, this is our last chance to hire all of this garbage. Wait, no. I said that earlier. I think these two regions share a mercenary pool, though. They don't. They just have very similar mercenary pools. Yes. Be that as it may, I'm low on money and don't feel that I actually need mercenaries for this army. So I'll continue south. I actually don't want to hire mercenaries when I look at just the sheer quantity of Spear of Warband and Cavalry here against like the trash army that was fighting Mediolanum. So I guess they can't produce anything else, but I will keep making spear warbands in both of these cities. I will have this man come south. All the way to the forts. I'm going to build a new spear warband as garrison here. Fuck that, I'm building... On the one hand, I want to build peasants because it's cheaper, but I think this is going to war eventually, so I'll build the spear warbands. Which is the same reason I'm building spear warbands here. And next time, we'll be building more spear warbands up in this city. So Gaul is about to get utterly wiped out in the coming turns. The same thing for the Italians. Actually, with this reforming city, what I should do, I realize now, is put them on a boat and then send them to wipe out the Julii. My former capital is very upset. We could probably, like, go to, you know, build literally anything here. That might make them happier. Someday they might be recruiting berserkers. They're probably upset because they're at very high tax rate. Yep. And since we don't need to build that just yet, we won't. My capital right now, I believe, is Trier, right? No, it's not. Is it all the way down south? Have I moved it all this way down here? My capital is Ariminum, yes. That explains why everyone in the north is so unhappy. I forgot I had already moved my capital south. Which also explains why it's been so easy to keep these people happy. But that's it for this turn, it looks like. So, let's see what Rome and Gaul do in the interim. 
Greetings. Not only would I like to trade with you, I would like to give you my map information. If I give, I mean sell you. So I'm sure this seems like a great deal to you, right? A most yeah, of course it does. Thanks, man. So at some point I need to put a diplomat on a boat and send him off to Egypt and the Seleucids and everyone else in the East. I don't care about end of turn reports, but this I do care about. The Greeks are at war with Pontus, Armenia is at war with Egypt of all things, and the Parthians broke their alliance with the Seleucids. Okay. So we're here to take Mediolanum back for the fourth time this campaign. Pretty slim garrison there. This is going to move down to here and push these rebels away. This rebel army is more threatening than the last one, but by no stretch of the imagination, good. And we'll be doing it next turn, it looks like. We will recruit another Spear Warband, because this place will be going to war eventually. And since we can't do it this turn, actually, it's a great time to remember about this army and send it to join up with them. They're quite unhappy about that, but they'll be fine once they get a garrison. So, since Rome has done nothing offensively with their military, that leaves me free to come start shit with the Scipii. And I definitely want to fight them alone first. I don't think they're going to take this, though. Oh, they are. Holy shit. All right, I'm going to do that in a second. And we're going to send this army down to see what the Broody Eye are doing. Hopefully the answer is dying to me. If there's nothing between me and the city, there is. I wonder if this diplomat can bribe this army. Quick. Our patience is if we may have a prize. For my entire income, I could. Until next I won't time. be taking that deal, unfortunately. So if they make this a field battle sally forth by thinking they can win, that only increases my odds. So first I want to check for mercenaries as I go forward. And there are some I will be taking them, even though they aren't ideal. And now we can join up with the rest of our army. And even though we didn't originally have the movement to get here, we are here now building rams. So before I get to that battle with the Scipii, let's push these rebels around. Why are you fighting this? Okay, fine. I know that bridges are strong defensively, but you have three fucking units and the AI doesn't use them well. So, like, they just have naked fanatics, a warband, and another warband. I'm just gonna run my general across and have him hook a right. Same thing with the second group of cavalry, except I'm gonna go left. Well, since this group charged first, I'll have my cavalry go left instead. If they'll go anywhere at all, that is. Okay, so they've successfully gotten out of there. And honestly, I'm kind of expecting the AI to fucking rout at this point, now that they have failed to defend the bridge crossing. It would be great if they actually ran and didn't just die, but I'm sort of expecting them to call it for no fucking reason. Hey, perfect, they got called for no fucking reason. I'll just keep smashing move and hope it prevents them from attacking too much into the enemy. Okay. Next up, we're just going to send one phalanx to the very end of the bridge. And it looks like at this point we can actually send all of our phalanxes across. They've basically just failed to defend themselves. Well, I forgot about this unit, but it doesn't look like he took any losses as a result of it. Silver chevrons on generals are fucking ridiculous. So he's coming to finally engage my army as they cross, but it's not going to work out for him. As there's these cavalry that have just been running around freely on the other side. Yeah. Bad news bears. I can actually just put this on triple speed while my units get out. I'm gonna tell them to get into phalanx now so they have to spin, they can get it out of their system early. Now they should do their best to stay in formation while I give them a rotation command. I doubt they really will. In fact, they aren't even going to attempt to perform the command. Let just my general- oh. They're already routing. That's interesting. In that case, I'll just let everyone go because we've already won. I wasn't expecting this. Anyway, that's um, 40 of my men to kill all 650 of theirs. We could have taken less losses than that if I'd been more careful when I was bringing my phalanxes across the bridge and the naked fanatics charged, but oh well. The phalanxes are incredibly easy to retrain. And honestly, I just want to stop and talk about how fucking crazy these phalanxes are for a bit. 
These phalanxes are the equivalent of militia hoplites, but they have better stats. So as far as tier 2 phalanxes go, Germania has the best in the game. Like, it's not even close. And tier 2 phalanxes are going to make up the majority of your army as these Hellenic factions. It's just disgusting that one of the best phalanx factions on the campaign map is actually Germany for some reason. I joke about them being budget Macedon, but honestly, in some respects, they're just cheaper, better Macedon. Okay, I had to do the little trick where I send my general ahead. But now we can join up with him and we're on the siege and we can make all of the rams and actually kill this settlement next turn. I thought I was going to have to fight this set of rebels too. They are, it turns out, mostly peasants. So that's both sieges on Gaul happening now. This army could go southwest into Spain now, but I'm going to send it east. First, I'm going to put it here to ambush and just see what's going on. By the looks of it, I'll just be taking Basilla next turn. I could also go for Lugdunum. Either way works. I'll probably send Scout Cavalry in both directions to try to make a better decision. Actually, I'll use this Diplomat as a Scout. So Gaul has next to nothing here. It looks like it's basically three units of Warband, so I can just send three Spear Phalanxes to take all of that out. There are no generals in that direction confirmed, which is all that really matters. Even if they have barbarian calves, my phalanxes will still beat that. So this army might actually split in two and conquer both of these, is my current expectation. This town can't recruit anything else right now, but it will send one of its spear warbands over as assistance to this new army. I'll make one more spear warband here, and here I'm going to send this spear warband east to join up with the army of Massing and Zagastica. I've finally finished that muster field so I can retrain all of these units and make a new one. And we're going to start moving its Dacia next turn. And that's everything else that I need to do this turn handled, which means it's time for our big dramatic battle versus the Scipii. Can I get mercenaries? No, I believe this was the same mercenary pool, so I already recruited them. Now, let's compare armies. Forge five family members to two. Three Hestadi to three Spear Warbands. Two Equites to two Barbarian Cavalry. So I'm just up three family members, two Heavy Infantry Axemen units. My main Infantry Corps has Phalanxes to Javelins, and I outnumber their family members massively with more experience. This says it's relatively close, and they're willing to fight, but don't believe their lies. This is going to be a massacre. This is not the big dramatic fight I thought it was at all. So the way I'm setting this up, on my right wing, I have my light cavalry and my inexperienced family commanders. On the left side, I have my more experienced family commanders, including the leader who has twice the unit size. For my line, I'm just keeping my phalanx to spread relatively thin. If their generals charge me, I have my infantry here, my axemen, in reserve so that they can push to wherever they get charged. Because I know that none of these phalanxes will actually hold against a general, which is fair, right? This is a town watch level unit against the strongest level cavalry in the game. They shouldn't hold, realistically. It just feels wrong, because they are still technically a phalanx. So, let's see what the enemy is doing, and just move around a bit to match them. And actually, I can see immediately that their cavalry is all on this wing. So I actually more or less just want to stop immediately. Move my axemen to the right side, my skirmishers to the left side. I'm going to leave one family member on this wing to deal with the Aquites. But these other two are going to swing all the way to the right. Where all of the starting infantry on this side, or the starting cavalry rather, is going to start swinging out to the east. They have one unit of general on this side. They have an Aquites. Oh, both Aquites here. Okay, so they just have their generals in reserve on the left. In that case, I'm actually going to have my general move back to this side as well. I thought I was experiencing some sort of cavalry charge off the start, but it looks like no. Although, as I move my cavalry around, it looks like they're moving theirs to match, which means I can end up with a cavalry versus cavalry fight, which is largely what I want to see. Uh, here, I'm actually going to just send this general up and see if I can't get attention from his generals. Because if he'll spend one of his generals chasing one of mine, that's really good for me. I have way more units. I can afford to have one out of the battle. He can't. Are there some more dogs? 
I'm so tired of fighting dogs. They aren't strong. They just, like, break AI more than a little bit. I'm going to move this up just a little bit. I'm going to move my Equites very far back behind them. Move Fanny members just to fan out. And I have my Cavalry charge these dogs. This might just be a hilarious fan member death, but I'm pretty sure this kills the dogs. Okay, what's going on here? Uh, we have Equites, it looks like, charging through their rank. Let's see if we can't get a Cavalry versus Cavalry fight between my Generals and their Equites. And, uh... Well, they routed immediately, but now I have to fight the dogs. So let's see how that actually goes. And I don't actually want to do this now they see their whole army has formed up to meet me. And yeah, uh, the charge went for the people who had the dogs instead of the dogs themselves. So there's still just like half a unit of dogs chasing these horses. So I'm going to need to run back through my own line to get them off of me. Oh, and they're trying to retreat at this point. That's not happening. Absolutely fuck no. Their cavalry gets away. I can't do shit about that. But I absolutely can stop them from getting away with any infantry. These dogs should be handled easily by the phalanx once my general gets through. Yeah, so this should be enough to chain route them now that they're, everyone else is retreating and they're getting just overwhelmed by cavalry numbers. I imagine this last unit will flee once it's actually forced to accept the fact it's fighting. don't want it to actually get out of this battle. I want to make sure it's ran down. We finally have the fight happening here that I need. I'm willing to take casualties to kill units of Astati. We can't do anything about these war dogs. Unfortunately, they will be making off the map. I thought they were Velites. I'm probably going to prioritize them higher if I realized they were the war dogs, but oh well. So, that's the battle mopped up. We didn't get their fan members or their cavalry, sadly. But we also only lost 17 men and killed 500 of theirs. So, despite being able to do better, I can't be upset with that result. I imagine they retreat into Capua, and this is going to be one nasty, nasty siege. Unless they sally forth, which would make my life very easy. Now, looking at my army of nothing but General's Cavalry versus their army of, uh... Like, relatively good units. How long does Capua hold out in this siege? It's probably a fucking while, right? They have five turns. God, going into a city against Prankifes and four generals family members does not sound viable, does it? At least he got a great commander out of that fight, so that's something. But for now, all of these sieges have been started. We're moving on for this attack here, whichever one it is. We're gaining a lot of land next turn. We have a Dacian army to mobilize. But I believe that is the whole turn. Let me just quickly check that there are no cities without garrisons that should be building units to garrison themselves. The answer is no, we're good. So that's going to be it for now. This has been turn 22. Next time we'll see what happens in the interim. This has been Rather Than Incoherent. I hope you liked the video. If you did, consider liking, commenting, subscribing, all of that YouTube's jazz. Because if you do, it really does help the channel grow. Anyway, I'll see you around.